In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some advice on using intro and outros that may not fit your normal theme. I tend to overlook some of those, like for example, I'm not going to use St. Patrick's Day. I doubt if I'd ever use a Valentine's Day, but there may be some elements in these overlooked themes that are really useful that you might want to use in the future. So I'm going to give you an illustration on why you may want to look at them rather than just skip over them. For example, here we have a video and the video is basically about a nature reserve wildlife. I'm not going to need hearts and flowers in order to use this, but there may be something in one or more of the videos that are available in the intro and outro category that I could use. Let me give give a simple search here. Now I'll search for Valentine. And then we'll open this up and try a couple and just see what is there that I could use, even though it really doesn't fit my particular preferences. Let's take this one here and double click on it. And that will get it into a preview mode. It will download the form and then it will proceed to play it so I can see what it does and I hit my play key, here's what I have. Now it has some music. I might like the music. It has some graphics. I might like the graphics and I don't have to use all of them. So let's assume that this might be something I could use at least parts of. So what I'm going to do is firstly, I'll change the background. That would be very easy to do. And let's take this one here, click on open and I need to select a, a subset of the video, a certain amount of time in the video. Let's take the first element here and then click on OK. So I've changed the video. The next thing I want to do is I don't really need these two elements here. So I'm going to click on that and I'll delete it and I'll do the same for the other. But maybe I like the fonts. Maybe I see in here a font that I like that I want to use again. So I can take the Valentine's Day and I can highlight it and I can change it any way I want. There's a text on the left. We'll just say Nature Preserve. And then underneath it, we'll change that as well. We can say a place for everyone in the family. And I'm going to bring my characters in so you can see the the movable window I'm using to edit this with. So I like the color from the screen. Let's go to one of the brown tones we have here. Click on that. Click on OK. And shrink it down a little bit. Move it to the right. And there we have something quite different. We can modify more features, obviously, than the ones we've done. Let's assume that we like what we've got. We'll just say Add to Timeline, and we will save our changes. I'll give it a temporary name. And now it will proceed to add that to the timeline as something much different than what it started out as. And so when I play the intro, I now have this particular one. And that gives me an example of what I could do with something that at first doesn't seem to fit any theme that I normally would use. You also find some, let's take this other one over here and click on this one. This has some really nice fonts and it has some nice animation of those fonts. So I'm going to click on that and let's watch what this one happens to do. We'll back it up a bit. I like the way the word happy comes. I like the way Val Valentine's Day is animated. Again, we're going to change the fonts. We're going to change the background. We're going to take out the little heart icons at the bottom, replace it with something else. But it saves you the work of taking some of the creative elements that you find in these intro outro templates and building them to make it fit your style and your style of editing. So it saves a lot of time. It also adds to your resources. And so I would encourage you not to overlook some of the ones that at first blush don't seem to fit and give it some thought because there's some really good elements in sometimes the most unlikely intros and outros in CyberLink PowerDirector.